Hi everyone and welcome to today's diary entry. I'm Valeria Alicia and I am currently 20 weeks pregnant <laughs> with my baby number two. This is my second pregnancy and I actually bought the Upper Baby Vista and the Rumble Seat and I wanted to do an unboxing with you guys. I actually have the up a baby cruise right now at the moment and i absolutely love it so i wanted to upgrade to the vista in order to have the uh, double seater stroller for my kids so without further ado let's get on with this unboxing okay so i have to set the box down but and i also took out all the um i had to take a knife and take out all the tape or whatever around it but maybe I should pull it over so you guys can see. So you open it like this. And this is very similar to how my cruise came. So when you first open it up, it's got the upper baby stuff, the manual. Right here, this is what you will do for your warranty. Uh, yeah, and instructions and all that good stuff on how to put it together so it's actually a really cool neat stuff because you can see it gives you instructions on how to use it and all that good stuff I'm not gonna look at it and we'll see how we do <laughs> I don't think I had to look at this before I when I opened my cruise but we will see we'll do this together I'm gonna set that aside guys can see so it comes in this travel bag which my cruise actually did not come with a travel bag so that already is like bonus points here so what comes inside of here okay so the seat actually comes inside the bag so I'm going to take this out and set it aside Then we have, let me just go by box by box. So then we have this thing in here. It's like the different parts of, okay. So here we have two wheels for the stroller. And then just set that aside. I'm assuming these are the other two wheels but these feel super light so I don't know this 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 is mesh I'm not sure what this mesh is I'm gonna have to look into it but here is the the handlebar or what goes on the on front of the kid of the baby uh, right here so that came separate and then there's this other box here in the middle. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Okay, so these are the back wheels right here. The ones that I opened up before were the front wheels, and these guys are the back wheels. So set that aside. And we've got other boxes here. I'm not entirely sure. I think these are empty. Yeah, these are just basically to keep everything in there. So we got it all. All that we're missing is the bottom frame or the actual frame of this stroller, which is right here. So it came locked. I'm just used to like my personal stroller that I have right now, which is very, very similar to this one. So that's how I knew how to open it up. So I'm going to take these guys off. I wanted to do an unboxing live with you guys because I feel like I haven't really seen a video like this. Maybe I'm just not searching right, maybe there is, but I kind of wanted to get a feel for um, what it's like to open it up and put it together. So that's what I'm doing for you guys. This looks so nice. The leather on this one is a little darker than the one that I already have. The, the cruise that I have is in the color hazel. And so, the color for my leather parts actually I forgot what the actual name is it's like a chestnut it's lighter than this brown but this one actually looks really nice in person I was afraid I was gonna hate it but it looks really nice I'm impressed 
Okay. We'll take this out. Now I'm actually gonna move the box and then come back with you guys. Okay, the box is out of the way. <laughs> and hopefully this makes a little more sense. So essentially it looks like this. And then we're just gonna put the wheels on right now. We'll start with the back ones. Okay, so here they are. I was just taking the foam off of them. So what I will do is kind of flip the frame. I'm pretty sure with my crews, I just have to kind of slip them in. So let's see if it's true for the Vista as well. So the way you do it, just so you learn from me, because <laughs> it took me a second, you have to push the up part. And that's, I don't know if you see this little part kind of coming out right here when I push on it. And that just makes it so that the lock releases and you're able to push them in. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side so that you can see. I'm going to push and in it goes. And then it's locked and we're good to go. So onto the front wheels. I'm trying to see the easiest way. Ooh, it's coming along so nicely. The easiest way for me to do it would be probably like that. Okay, so it doesn't look like either of them say left or right, which tells me that we can use either or on either side. So it doesn't look like there's any push or release. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. And then it goes. Very good. And with the other one, done. And they're both locked in place really good. Now we can, very nice. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. I'm so excited. So with these guys, um, you can lock them by pushing this button right here. And it makes it so that, I don't know if you can see that, but my wheels are now straight and I'm not able to shift from right or left, which is actually a really cool feature, especially if you're going on like long walks or if you're jogging or something like that. I feel like that's a really neat feature to have. And then if you want to get rid of it, you just push on the button and you will see a green, uh, like a green, not light, but like a green sign that shows up and that just tells you that you're good. Okay, so we got everything together, and now all we're missing is a seat. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out of here for the grand finale so you guys can see the color that I got. <laughs> I'm going to turn it so that it will face you and you can really have a good look at it. But I went with the color Finn. This color recently went on sale and it just looked so beautiful to me. I'm gonna, I have a girl and I'm pregnant with the boy and I felt like this was so neutral. I really, really wanted to go for it. And I, there were other colors that actually look really nice, but the rest of them have the inner lining of the seat in the black color. And the reason I don't like that is because I live in Arizona and you guys, it gets so hot in here. I mean, crazy hot. We were hitting 117 like three weeks ago. So I just, I didn't want to risk it. And I wanted to make sure that I got a really neutral color that wouldn't absorb heat pretty much, which is the same reason why I didn't go with the black frame. So the black frame, this is a silver one and it also comes in black and a matte black that looks so beautiful. And I think it's so pretty. But again, it'll get, it would get so hot here in Arizona. And not just that, but there's a lot of dirt here in the desert. And a lot of moms were saying that you have to keep kind of cleaning it up because it's very noticeable. And then any scratches would look very noticeable on it too. So for that reason, I decided not to get that. But it looked so nice. I thought it was so, so, so nice. So along with the seat, uh, let's go ahead and put on... on this guy the handlebar is it the handlebar so the neat thing about this guy is that 
This is what it comes with, but you can also buy an attachment that is like the tray for it, which I actually wanted to get so bad for when we went on a Disney trip. I didn't feel like I needed it, but I feel like it's totally, totally, totally usable. Like you'll get a lot of good use out of it. So it just snaps in like so. Boom, and we're in place. And then if you wanna take it out, you can only do one side if you wanted to. And if you wanna take both out, you just push both, both buttons at the bottom and it quick releases. So it's actually a really, really neat and cool feature that this stroller has. You can adjust it down here, high or low. Oops, I feel like it's easier if I do it like this, there we go. So it's actually really cool. It's super easy to maneuver it up and down. because the bar is like in the way so I couldn't go down. <laughs> but it's actually really neat. I really like how easy and simple this stroller is and at the same time, it's so elegant. So there's just something about it that just always caught my eye. I didn't think that we needed this one because I was afraid that my kid was gonna be too big. My almost two year, my, hold on, 18 month old. <laughs> so I thought my 18 month old was gonna be too big and therefore not be able to fit in, my, in the rumble seat because the rumble seat only holds 35 pounds. Whereas this one holds 50. And the basket holds 30 or 35 pounds, don't quote me, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm guessing it's around that area, but that is literally probably the number one reason why this sold me. <laughs> Cause I love that I can go shopping and it holds so much weight and I don't have to stress about, you know, having two things or having to go with someone else so I can have the stroller. It could just be all in one. I can do my shopping and I can even put my bags down there. I've done it before and it is so, so convenient. So here's this guy. And now I'm gonna unbox the, uh, the bassinet. So now I'm gonna unbox the bassinet and then I'll come back. Okay, so here's the bassinet. And I'm going to take this off so that you guys can see how easy and quick this is. I'm gonna have the bassinet facing you. And that's it. We have our bassinet ready to go. It just snaps in place. And then to take it off, you just push this button right here it comes right off. Super easy and convenient, and I cannot wait to use the stroller. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the rumble seat and then come back to show you guys real quickly what it looks like. So at this point, my baby woke up, so that's why I'm taking over voiceover. As you can see, the canopy comes separate, so you just have to really quickly attach it. It's something that is very simple and easy to do. It took absolutely no time. And here I wanted to show you a comparison of the regular seat compared to the rumble seat, which is on the right-hand side. Um, you can tell a difference because it does look a little smaller, but it's not that big, to be honest with you, but it's definitely noticeable. And then also I wanted to clarify that I went on the Up A Baby website and the handlebar that I was calling it is actually called a bumper bar. Here as you can see I had to get down on my knees <laughs> to get the attachments on the frame so that I could attach the rumble seat. It was actually really easy. I did not look at the instructions again because I'm a rebel you guys. I just want to make sure it is easy to show you guys and it really is. So here I'm putting it all together and you'll see me here in a little bit try to put the bassinet on top. I didn't want to edit this out because I wanted to show you that in order to have the bassinet with the rumble seat, you're probably going to need the attachment that has the extension so it's a little higher, which they're only about $20 so it's not that expensive. But just know that if you want to use the bassinet with the rumble seat, you will most likely need that. see I went with the regular seat and I put it facing me so that you can see this configuration but there are so many other different configurations here are some example I'll post here a picture 
it is actually pretty neat because I plan on using it first with the car seat or the bassinet so I have the option there but I do think I will need that attachment that I mentioned earlier so that is totally cool I mean I don't have a problem with that but I just feel so cool here's mom Woohoo! she's riding in style with her kiddos <laughs> So here's the final look so you can see have a good look at it with both rumble seat and regular seat. If you are currently expecting or if you have kiddos already, is this a stroller that you've thought about? Do you have the stroller? Do you have any tips for us? Let us know in the comment below and until then I'll catch you in my next video. Un besote. Mwah.